explorers? Look what I just found in my backyard. It's a geode! <laughs> Neat, right? Maybe some ancient Marmarians owned it. <gasps> or maybe it's an ancient Marmarland treasure. <gasps> I gotta tell somebody about this. <laughs> hey, Marmar, what's up? Hayden, look what I found. Whoa, that's awesome. And is he making a sound? Ooh. No, that's just me. It's pretty cool though, right? You never know what you could find in your own backyard. Aww, I'd love to have a crystal like that, but I don't have a backyard. Oh, that's okay. But what if I taught you to make your own cool crystals? But wait, there's more. What if I told you you could eat them too? Really? Sure. You can do this too, explorers at home. Come on. All you need is two cups of water and four cups of sugar, a couple of glasses and some wooden sticks for stirring, and some food coloring if you have it. That's it? Really? Really. You need to heat up the water, get your parents to help you with this part, and then slowly add the sugar, mixing it in until it's dissolved. Got it? Got it. Add your food coloring to the cup, whatever color you want and then pour in the sugar water. Finally, put the stick or string into the sugar water and make sure it stays up straight. That's easy, what's next? We wait for the crystals to form. When it looks like it's hardened, just dump out the excess, pull out the stick, and pow! You just made your own rock candy. See, I told you that you could have your own cool geode. Okay, bye Hayden, enjoy your rock candy. Ah. Oh, there's Cloudy. Hey Marmar, what's going on? Well, today I've been practicing archeology span in my backyard. Cool. Oh, you know what archeology span is? No, is it the study of people named Archie? Archeology? span No, Cloudy, it's the study of fossils and artifacts. Oh, like in the movies. I've seen some movies, no biggie. Oh, really? I was just about to tell the explorers at home what tools archaeologists use. You want to help me? Oh, sure. All you need is a cool jacket, explorers, and some tough looking beard stubble, if you can. Uh, not exactly, Cloudy. Here. Archaeologists use things like shovels, rakes, and dirt sifters and brushes and cloths to clean off the things they find. Mm -hmm. And for safety, some gloves. Speaking of safety, you should watch out for mummies and traps, explorers. And if you go into a temple, make sure it isn't of doom. Now, let's talk about those gigantic boulders. No, Cloudy, that's how archaeologists are in movies. And it isn't very accurate. Here, let me show you. Some eggs. They're pretty big and very old. Wow! These eggs may have belonged to a Mamara source. Or maybe even a Marasaurus Rex. Or even a Marlosaraptor. Wait, Cloudy? Cloudy? Can't talk now, Marmar. I'm off to do some archaeology in my backyard. Okay, have fun. Hi, Gagoosh. Oh, hey, y'all. What are you up to today? Gagoosh, I've been doing some backyard archaeology, and I found some pretty cool stuff. A geo and some old eggs. Oh, heck yes, my friend. That's amazing. So, what do you do now? What do you, what do you mean? Well, now that y'all found some stuff, what do you do with it? Good question. After archaeologists find things, they examine the things they find. They try to figure out when they were from and how they were used. Cool! That way, they can figure out what life used to be like a long time ago. So, archaeologists are kind of like detectives, y'all. They dig up clues and solve the case of what life was like back then. Exactly! 
Let's pretend that some archaeologists in the future searched the jungle where you lived, Gagoosh. They might find some evidence that you used to live there. Ow! Well, that's where my car keys went. Archaeology helps us understand things in history that weren't written down, or even things that happened before there's anyone to write things down, like fossils and dinosaur bones. So maybe you can try looking around in your own backyard, Kikush, and you too explores at home. Get your gloves and grab a shovel. It's time to see what we can discover in our own backyard under the ground. There's treasure there waiting to be found. So let's explore out our back door. Even though we don't know what we're looking for. We can dig it, see what we find. We can dig it, something back in time. We can dig it, discover history. It's sucky. It might take some time, but you never know what you might Yo, find. Yo, look at what I found! Oh. It's a treasure map! <gasps> Whoa! Great job, Gagoosh! Thanks for your help, Marmar! And y'all too, Explorers at Home! Bye, Gagoosh! Wow, we did so much today, Explorers at Home, and I couldn't have done it without your help. Sometimes, it can be hard to get out there and find adventure. But remember, there could be something exciting in your own backyard. But make sure to ask your parents before you dig up everything. They might even be able to help you and help you identify the things you find. So get out there and find some clues to see how your backyard used to be. And I'll see you next time. Bye, explorers. Ah!